Hello darlings, um, I just want to take you through my brain with me because I've got so much going on in my head and thinking, so it's all scattered, I feel very guilty when I've got readings to do if I stop to do a video, but I can't let my brain collect all this information and not let it out um, before I get back to the three readings to do before this weekend. So um, I was just looking at that here. Um, we've got on the 13th, so the 13th sign uh, on this Vesica Pisces, we're going to have we're going to have Mars and Uranus conjunct on Eris. So this is the catapult of the fire and ice. So Eris is here. Uranus, Mars. And uh, this is very important. This is very important. Okay, this is a picture of that date, the 3rd of January, 2021. So Uranus is still going retrogrades. We've got Mars. Um, so this is these are the transitions right now. So Mars, you see, um, this is why it's so interesting. Because Mars is about to go backwards. This is in the future, this chart. It's the for 2021, the 3rd of January. So that makes 13, 31. Um, the day that Princess Diana, the moon goddess, was killed is the 31. And 13 is the fake sign of Ficus, which is the senator, which is Chiron. So we've got the Cairo, the P, the sword in the stone that fixes the mutable cross in um, the fixed cross in the mutable axis. And then you have the Alpha, Aries, Omega. Um, this is what I'm going to be showing you today. So here is uh, Pan, the Chiron. This is the wounded healer. He became half man, half God, the son of Saturn, Kronos. He fell and he is going to be becoming the new hero. So this is the axis. This is the correct new um, chart. But we've got to get through these two axes of Pisces and Sagittarius, Pete and Paul, uh, PP the PP. So I just want to show you, we're going to come back to this because I have to explain. You see, this is the fake 13th sign, the first of the thirds. This is the myth about Chiron. This is what they want to fix us on. They want to take the mutable gaps. They prepared this and they want to fix the fixed cross in these mutable gaps. So we would have, instead of having Capricorn and Aquarius at the top, we've got Capricorn and Sagittarius. And this will be the new West Way. This is just uh, looking. Um, so. Right, so Aries, Libra. And this is the uh, sword in the stone. This is here. So this is the red. Um, this is the, well, Aries, they put red here, but Aries is yellow fire. Libra, red air, masculine. And again, the axis, this is yellow fire. Asia, Chiron, the beginning of the wheel. The beginning of the Milky Way split opening and every mutable age uh, they have fixed uh, a fixed sign in the mutable gap and here right on Sirius we're going to have right on Sirius Altair that date and at this time so right now Mars is about to go backwards we've got right now um, Chiron, which is, this is a future date, but this is where Chiron is now. 
Mars is going to come back, hit Chiron, and then Eris, the liberator that rides, takes over the last mutable, the last mutable, so uh, Pisces is the last gap, and Sagittarius is the last gap because Scorpio is coming up to the top. Aquarius is coming back here with Capricorn. Taurus is going to become the new Saltis, but they want to uh, keep us on these air, uh, um, air fire axis. Interesting. Um, this is the future date of 1 3. We've right now got the sun uh, on this, you know, that on this coming future date, we've got Mars. Uh, right now, on this coming future date, he's going to go back, he's going to come back. This is what I'm basically trying to explain, is the importance of Chiron. And Chiron is, here's the Chiron. So Chiron is going to be, be the Pisces. It began, it was found officially, Chiron was found and spoken about in astrology on the 1st of November, 1977. So 7-7 is the 14 pieces of Osiris. Um, it is the triangle. You put two angles. It's the V for victory. The 7-7 seven, seven is the VV or the LL. And when you put that 7-7 seven and seven, um, front to back, that makes the triangle that we're going underneath now of Alta. And Alta is the original passage of the mutable where the Milky Way opened. And this character, uh, otherwise, you know, Osiris was split. He lost his healing abilities. He became split into pieces. So this is the wounded healer. So they gave us this official Chiron wounded healer in astrology in 1977 and it was in Pisces it was actually uh, I've got the chart here so um, we've got this was is the third of November so this is the coming elections uh, this is very important I've got three charts open here and this is the discovery of Chiron, the 1st of November, 1977. Uh, and in fact, when we look at it, it was the same day as the armistice. Uh, they gave us the uh, 29th of November. Um, so well, I'll find that other date uh, in a minute because I, this is overloaded information coming in for me. So Chiron, we were officially given the discovery in Aries and Chiron is now in Pisces so it's very soon going to finish its cycle in Aries okay you can join me in my jumping around so 13th sign so we've got the so why this date is very interesting and we've got this connection with Eris because Chiron is the original opening of the transmutable Sagittarius, and Chiron is now in Pisces. So it's the Milky Way closing back, and the PP, so Chiron, Chiron, when it becomes aligned here, you see, this is the key, the key here, and the P at the bottom, Pete and Paul, this is where they're trying to crucify us to keep us in half flesh very similar to the story of uh, the little mermaids but the little mermaid is the end of Pisces this is where we are now Chiron is now in Pisces so they gave us just the last cycle of Chiron from 1977 but Chiron was the original son of Kronos Saturn that fell so you see when that becomes here that's going to be the PP and that will become the R. It will become the R and the R, Romanus and Remus. You've got the circle, and then it gives Chiron the legs here, the R, R, Romanus and Remus. 
because we should be finishing the axis of Pisces Virgo, mutable, and those are the scissor sisters. These are the scissors, the scissors. These are that's why the barbers, barbar, and um, so we should be finishing the feminine axis. But they want to keep us on the Sagittarius Gemini. Gemini was the beginning of Romulus and Remus, um, the male twins, the wolf. So when this Chiron merges here, we've got uh, we've got the two way. We've got that it's the skull and bone cross. So come back to this. So I let you read this. Discovered in 1977 by Charles Kawai. So Chiron is pronounced, it's here with a CH, but it's K, pronounced with a K, and K is the 11th letter. So it's on that last degree of Pisces before Aquarius, 11th house, that they want to crucify us. You see, and it's on the last degree of Sagittarius, that galactic gateway. Uh, that they want to um, keep us in, so I've added here lots of pictures, I just showed you, you see we're going through now, this is the last axis, it's the last V for victory, this is on the side of Sagittarius on the last degree, which is just on the last degree of Gemini over here, so this is the fake 13th sign you can't have positive negative positive negative and then a fake 13th it mucks it all up it keeps us stuck this is the myth so that image again here so on the last degree on the last group well that doesn't that you can't really see it here Well, this is um, this is what we're meant to be doing. We're meant to come through the mutable. These are the mutable gaps. So the Milky Way opened here for the first time, and we had Chiron. This is the half man, half god, half horse, the wounded healer who lost his healing abilities. It's the same thing as Osiris. So this was the um, when Isis fell. So Isis is Scorpio. And this chart here, this is going to become the West Way. Um, there's another image here that shows that, but it's, it, we put it at the top. So Milky Way opened. Here is where Virgo, the next mutable, became the War of Babylon. And that's the story of um, Eris riding on the white bull over to Crete, to Gemini, the next mutable. So the lion becomes the bull. And he then devoured Eris. He just pretended to be this nice bull in the flesh. So every time the fixed sign, so here's the bull, the bull takes over, uh, takes the place of Gemini. Um, this is here. Uh, here we've got Leo, the whore of Babylon. Leo, Leo takes over the place of Virgo. Uh, here we've got Scorpio. Uh, this is the um, this is the eagle. This is Altair. Altair takes over from um, Sagittarius, and now for this last gap here, uh, this is the enormous crocodile. This is Pinocchio that gets swallowed by the whale Leviathan. Um, it's the story of Jonah. If you don't speak up, if you don't find your voice. But the Milky Way merges back, this wheel, it all merges back and we get back the eight, the cardinal and the fixed signs merge. But they want to crucify us, they've prepared each gap with each age, so this is the rising now, they want to bring back the bull god, Minos, the bully, the bully, because they want to put... Um, they put um, here we've got Jupiter with Capricorn and here we've got uh, Venus Hang on. Uh, 
Oh, where's Taurus? Yeah, well, Taurus is here. The bull. The bull. Okay, so just coming back. So in that narrative, Saturn took the form of the stallion in order to pursue the rape, the beautiful nymph Filaria. And when Chiron was born half horse and half human, she abandoned him in disgust. Fortunately, the sun god Apollo adopted Chiron. So this is Jupiter, Zeus, protected him and gave him the knowledge of music, prophecy, poetry and healing. Apollo's love showed Chiron how to love others. Chiron grew to be a consummate teacher to the sons of kings and many of the most famous Greek heroes. So this is because of the axis of Sagittarius opposite Gemini, and that is here, Sagittarius opposite Gemini and Chiron. So all the knowledge came back in this age of air um, Gemini, but it was also when they, this is their fate, the bull, the bully that they're bringing up now um, for Aquarius. That, you know, that this is the, this is their crucifying Aquarius when Aquarius merges with Capricorn. This is the true re-merging. We have to get through the Vesica pieces. So I let you just read that because I've got, Chiron voluntarily gave up his immortality and died on the rock. However, he was not sent to Hades, but given a revered place among the stars in the constellation Sagittarius. Chiron ended the title of a wounded healer because of the way he lived his life. Since 1977, six other senator asteroids from the Cunipa belt somewhere have been discovered, but Chiron travels alone. So... It takes 50 years to complete. So we're at this completion now um, from Aries. So the official completion is 2027. But they want to trap us in the Pisces gap. So it's now. It's coming. That's why Chiron, the lovely videos of Chiron last, he doesn't tell us this. They always, there's always, they give us great information, but this is what he means by Chiron's last. Okay, so Virgo Chiron is wounded by the truth. In Libra's Chiron, love itself is the wound. Passion cost the Scorpio Chiron pain. And so, so we're finishing its last cycle, but uh, Chiron has been going through um, as we've been under the reign of the empire of Jupiter. Chiron has been playing this role of healing through the ages. So I hope you're reading this. Um, so yes, um, Virgo, this scissor sister axis, this is the correct scissor sisters axis, and this is the Romulus and Remus axis here. Um, and this is that so Romulus and Remus. Okay, I'm going to just read you this and we'll piece it together. The 23.5 fake tilt crap angle is the crucifixion of the Cairo last V for victory gap on the Sagittarius last degree and the Pisces last degree. So um, let's get the pictures. I think the best picture here. Uh, not that one. The best picture, okay, this is the best picture to kind of explain what I'm trying to explain. So you see here the Milky Way is going to close back, which then gives us the true, um, it gives us the true wheel. So here we see Aquarius and Capricorn will merge on the west, Taurus and Aries will merge on the feet, so Taurus is going to come onto the feet. 
and um, uh, uh, yeah, and Libra and Scorpio come to the top. So the opening of the Milky Way was in the very beginning. We had um, Capricorn and Aquarius at the top, and then Sagittarius was born. That was the Senator. That was Chiron. That was the wounded healer. So the wounded healer has been all the way around the wheel from the beginning, from Sagittarius, when the Milky Way opened and Osiris was split, split, the snake was split into 14 pieces. That's the wisdom. It's why the pharmacy companies have got the snake. And they want to give you this Chiron, the wounded healer, as the Joker, the Pan Man, the Narnia, half um, T Mr. Tumnus, Remulus and Romus. And now Chiron is finishing in Pisces. And this is right where Chiron is now. So this image of the Cairo is the PP, Pete and Paul gap. So Pisces and Sagittarius. It's this gap here, here, this gap that they want to crucify. You see the gap. This is the gap that they want to put Leo in here, Taurus in here, Aquarius in that gap, and Scorpio into this gap. But it's a merging of Scorpio and Libra. It's a merging of the two every time. This is the twin peak. Saturn takes back. We re-merge. The Milky Way merges back. So it's this little gap. It's this little tilt that is so important where we are right now. And it's to do with Eris. Uh, it's to do with Chiron um, because Chiron has finished and joins Eris, which is going to be the taking over of the Lamb, the crucifixion of the Lamb, the Thalamus, the Lamp. That's why in Narnia... We see uh, Mr. Tumnus with his lamp. When she comes out of the cupboards, she's in between the two worlds. So um, this week, uh, I was explaining to you, we're going to go over very important. Uh, this week, I was explaining on the 23rd of August, is the official mainstream astrology that Virgo, uh, Leo falls into Virgo, um, that we get Virgo, and on that day, in the heart of my village, this happened since the last, I didn't know, they brought down the old bank, so there's not for nothing that they put the bull, they brought down a whole house, and it just happens to be number 23, our DNA strands, so I read this here. They have brought down number 23 house, Aka, our DNA strands for the Whore of Babylon ritual. Sun moves into Virgo 23-8, officially, but is still in Leo. I did a post that day, 23rd of August, is the death of the Virgo virgin girl, Pesperon. So this is the death of the scissor sister axis. We're going from uh, ending Virgo Pisces, and they want to bring in their uh, Gemini Sagittarius, the Senator. They want to crown the senator, the king of the wheel, instead of Scorpio closing with Libra, Isis. So, um, you can read this. So, this is, they are giving us Taurus, Moloch, the whore of Babylon, bull, the fixed cross. Uh, you read this bit here because I'm jumping. Okay, I'll, I'll do it all. Persbrown goes into the underworld, viticulture, death of the great Amy Winehouse. That's why they use her coming back house for the bulldog god uh, house to make the wine spirit in our village. This is big. I'll post pics tomorrow. We enter Capricorn this winter. They are giving us Taurus Moloch, the whore of Babylon bull. So that bull went from Babylon, the lion, crossed over to Crete, Gemini. And that's when my village was, uh, and then for the the scissor sister, for the Pisces, the beginning of the Pisces age, that's when they overtook my part of France here. And they took over the labyrinth because they know that my village represents on the map of the world, the heart gateway, that middle pillar gateway. So they brought down a whole house, it blocked the whole village 
the number 23, the original bank. The owner is apparently some millionaire that has never been here, has nothing to do, she just owned that house. Um, so this is about they kill saint Saturna. So the road where our labyrinth is saint Saturna. saint Saturna was dragged behind a bull. Um, he's part of the Templars who was teaching the wisdom before the age of Pisces Christianity took away all the knowledge that these people knew about the proper wheel before. So, uh, Enyot's are our village. Enyot Avigny, at the spider, eight legs, that represents the end of this wheel, 300, uh, 306 degrees. And the last 2200 age, Aka Catch 22 Venus Heart Fly Trap, where we hold the labyrinth and the Rue de Saint Saturna entry into the Twin Peaks Age of Saturn. Why the labyrinth is here and why I speak so much of the mask, a tear, mosqueteer, musketeer, dart in Enyot. D'Artagnan, the last corner, V for victory, CV322. Our postcode is 32290. That's why Trump set off the rocket at 20 past, 22 minutes past 3, Falcon 9, because it's the axis Altair, Gemini to uh, Altair, Sirius to Altair, to take over the axis Virgo Pisces. And Chiron is in Pisces now, the senator finishing. So instead of letting the Milky Way merge back and letting us naturally open our pineal glands, they want to pop off Mary Poppins, the feminine axis, Pisces Virgo. They have brought down a whole house, the original bank in our village, Acre 23, Acre 23, 20 and A-Strand, or 32 Paths of Wisdom, Aka BG, this is the big F giant. This is the this is the jolly green giant. This is the senator. This is Uficus. This is the original axis of Isis and uh, Osiris. So when Scorpio, um, when Sagittarius fell, we came into Scorpio, and then they made the age of Egypt Babylon. They crowned Mars, Alpha, Omega. So that's why we've got the PP Chiron and then you've got the Alpha, Omega because they want to keep um, the cardinal and they're putting the uh, mutable signs as the fixed to crucify the fixed signs. So the bull kills the deer, the cow, the true heart. Well, you get this bit here, the Omega... Uh, crash. Microsoft 32 megabits or 65 bits is 23 DNA strands or 46 chromosomes. It's the uh, wow. This is the this is to get her the high priestess Virgo to Mary Poppins and to bring in the whore of Babylon. So Taurus, they're bringing in Taurus um, instead of Virgo, uh, the Earth Taurus, but they're bringing in the masculine. They've got Chiron, it should be the axis of um, Eris, the Liberator. They've got uh, Libra, Omega, Venus. So Venus, it used to be um, Cupid and Venus, and they turned it into Cupid and Valentine. The festival of Rominus and Remus, Lupercalia, is Valentine's Day. They made... Venus, the bull, masculine. They made, um, I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you this, okay. And to bring the whore of Babylon, the bull kills the deer, the cow, the true heart, five petaled flower of life, Aka Saint Martin de Tour, Toulouse, Osiris, Ophicus, the green man, bull, kills, Saint Saturna, Saturn, oops, 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 shut that. Uh, the main road through village is blocked. Aka to kill the dam, Notre Dame, with a dam to be damned. So they blocked the, the, the main road through the village. There are eight roads that lead from my village, just like the spider. That's why they chose this village. This was the village of the Black Prince. Our church... Oops, oops. Our church has the uh, Beehive Hexagon Mosque. The mosque is the one tit. It's the mosque of St. Paul's. 
but I show you um, I'll show you a picture, a very good picture. Oh, there's Petronel de Papillon. Okay, I haven't posted the picture here. Right. Oh, here I have. Here. So the one tit. Cupid sucks the one tit. The one tit is the mosque. So they've got the new Peter Pan 50p. Peter Pan. PP. The Cairo. The Cairo is going to have the P upside down underneath, which is the Chiron. Uh, and sucking the one tit. This is this is um, Venus in Libra, masculine. It's not the Taurus. They bring Libra, and she rides the bull, masculine. When Taurus is feminine, and they kill the Virgo high priestess that sits between the pillars for this alchemical voyage that we need to do to get through the vesica pieces of Pisces. Chiron is now in Pisces. This is where we end our journey and we heal. So I'm just showing you what's happening, but we're all doing fine. We're doing the right thing. They just want to crucify all those in fear who don't get through in this moment of the gap. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So coming back to what I was reading. Right. So, um, so, so Chiron has also got the rings, uh, like Saturn, but, you know, so they're bringing in Chiron as Saturn, and he is half more man, half beast, just like opposite Gemini, we've got the wolf twins, uh, they turn Gemini into the wolf twins, that's why they now say the lion lies down, the wolf lies down with the lamb, they're changing the angle. They're changing the angle from the uh, Scissor Sisters, Pisces, Virgo, to this wrong angle. It's official. With the end of the age of trans, the clamp down is here. Find the time for your spirit. Uh, not for nothing that Cranberry Star died at 46 or that G7 was in the 64th department. Beer it. Yep. Eris Europa, the bull. God, dog, does not want us to make it home there. Okay, so my blog, uh, Alchemy Accordance, has got a very good thing. It shows the two directions of the bullseye, the 322 left right spin. To the Egyptians, Taurus the bull symbolized both Osiris and his sister Isis because it's the original axis of where the Milky Way opens. Opened in Sagittarius, so that was when Isis fell because Scorpio was Isis, um, and it was after the Garden of Eden. It was represented as a bull god and cow goddess, respectively. So you've got, um, in Greek legend, Taurus is identified with the disguise adopted by Zeus in yet another of his amorous adventures. So Zeus is Sagittarius. On this occasion, the god had fallen in love with the beautiful Europa. Uh, so he's falling in love with um, Taurus, daughter of King Agena, as she strolled with her companions on the seashore. So this was the time of the Saltis. He suddenly appeared amongst them as a magnificent white bull, but one which was so gentle that they felt no fear. Europa, so Europe, they, everyone thinks Europe is safe, that everything's wonderful, this is the bull, and they're going to bring in the bully now. They're going to bring in... Eris is the name of the police force in France. I'll be showing you the pictures. Europa and her maidens gathered flowers and made garlands which they hung around the animal's neck. So this is the maypole. This is, and they're bringing in the Libra Liberty pole. Such was their trust in his docility that Europa climbed upon his back. However, at this moment, the bull plunged into the sea and swam away furiously furiously with the terrified girl. When they reached Crete after the flood, Gemini, so this is the new axis, so this is taking her from, from, um, taking her from, so at that time, Taurus would have been where, uh, where Virgo is, so this is the falling of the Whore of Babylon and taking her over to Gemini, 
from green man to bull sun. In ancient times, a new culture suddenly exploded across the vast terran of Asia, Europe and Africa, that was an evolution of the prime, primeval goddess culture of the Neolithic age that had previously existed for many thousands of years. That earlier Agran Ryan nature worshipping culture had featured the earth goddess and her son, the green man, who was annually born as all the new forms of nature in the spring and then died with the falling leaves. So the green man, Sagittarius, Pan, um, or this Chiron, the Senator. Observation of the seven stars of the Pleiades, so this is Taurus, was an essential part of this early nature religion. Their rise in the spring and their descent in autumn divided the year into the two parts and corresponded closely to the life and death cycle of the green man. When the new culture arrived, the green man acquired horns and he became intimately associated with the virile bull. The Pleiades has also acquired bovine associations and become part of the zodiacal sign of the bull's son, Taurus. A new complete culture known as the bull cult had emerged. This is Moloch. This is Minos. Uh, this is the bullies. This is the bullies coming in. The bully resembled what would later become the modern Shavite culture in India. This new cult quickly became a universal religion and succeeded in uniting the Asian, European and African peoples known oops, as the Babylonians, Greeks, Egyptians, Celts, Persians. So Cyrus, the keeper of the four corners, Akka, this fate crucifying us in the mutable gaps, in the fixed signs, um, is Cirrus opposite Altair? Okay, okay, so I've got it. You've got um, Sagittarius, Centaur, masculine axis, the first opening of the Milky Way. Uh, I need to show you the pictures as we're. I need to show you. Use this picture of Lars. So, in the beginning, this was what the wheel looked like. Okay, and we're coming back to Capricorn and Aquarius on the west, and uh, the sun and the moon on the east, Scorpio and Libra on the top, and Taurus and Aries on the bottom. So we're at these very important gaps, gaps here. So the Senator, uh, Chiron, took over from Virgo, and um, and the uh, bull, the bull, the bull takes the uh, the um, hang on, my brain, and the bull that they turned into the bull. So it's not really the bull. It's Libra, masculine. The Aries Libra axis takes over from Pisces. So this is the feminine axis that we're leaving now, Pisces Virgo, so it, Babylon uh, took over from Virgo, the Leo, the Leo, then that bull came in and took uh, Eris, so Libra rode, uh, Virgo rode the bull to Crete, and now the bull is coming in as Eris, the bully, which is Libra, uh, Venus in Libra, here. So Osiris and Isis, here, the original Milky Way, here. So we had Scorpio, Isis, opposite Osiris, Taurus. So they've now made uh, the Senator, the Senator, uh, Chiron, is um is is taking over from Isis. Isis is rising back up to the top of the wheel, and they want to give us the wounded half man, half horse, Zeus in disguise, Chiron, uh, as this Scorpio Isis. So this is taking over that galactic uh bullshit that they give us. So the Pleiadians and the Milky Way. This gap this gap, this Milky Way gap that we're going through. Um, so, pictures, uh, uh, photos here, photos, photos. 
So the Milky Way opened here. Isis, we had at that time Isis and Osiris. Isis and Osiris. So uh, that the Milky Way opened, and it's it's that was when Sagittarius was here. It opened, and now it's coming back. It's closing. It's been all the way round, and it's closing back up. There'll be no need for the sun and the moon. So um, this was the original Isis and Osiris. Isis and Osiris here. So they're now bringing up Taurus. Taurus is going to be the bottom, and they're bringing him back up from the senator. The senator that was the first split, Sagittarius, uh, and they're bringing him back up as Chiron. Uh, so normally we finish the cycle with Chiron. Okay, so carrying on here. So the 23.5 fake tilt crap angle is the crucifixion of the Cairo last V for victory gap on the Sagittarius last degree and the Pisces last degree. So that is here. The Pisces last degree and the Sagittarius last degree. Okay, that I showed you. K Chiron, when it hits Chiron's last degree, Chiron is pronounced with a K, not a Chai, it's written Chai Ro. Aquarius is at the 11th house. Aquarius axis opposite 5th house Leo, Leon, Babylon. That fixes in Virgo, 6th house to bring us the whore of Babylon. As 3rd house Gemini becomes 2nd house Taurus. Eris that rides the bull. We get fixed in Pisces, 12th door, just at last degree of Pisces before fixed. Um, 11 as Virgo, 6th door, just as North Node enters Taurus. So this on the 9th of the 9th. Today we are the 3rd of the 9th. That's the 36093. It's a very big day today. So the bull, 2nd house, takes the axis of Gemini, 3rd house, last degree, opposite Sagittarius, 9th house. Last degree, the galactic gateway crap as South Node enters Scorpio, S is the 14th letter, Osiris, the Hierophant will fall and the Joker will rise. So the Hierophant um, in Taurus, Merlin, and they bring up uh, Chiron again because this is their fake Saturn. They want to pop open our third eye before the axis comes with this fake hero. They're going to give us a whirlwind now, and then they're going to give us the savior. So, um, okay, we'll rise. Sagittarius takes the Scorpio Joker constellation marker where they crucify us on the fixed cross and the mutable V for victory passage through. Just before Aquarius hits the new equinox, they put the Cairo, the sword in the stone, the pin in the I, the P in the 322223S case, cull and bone, Cairo. So um, the PP becomes RR, the wounded healer. So the Chiron myth. In Greek mythology, Chiron was a senator, half man, half horse, son of the Titan Kronos, who took the form of a horse when he lay with more like raped, the ocean nymph Philia. She fell pregnant upon seeing her son, when he was born as a senator, Philera was shocked and so disgusted she abandoned her son. With both parents rejecting him, he now we now have a senator with some very deep wounds. So this is the marriage of the what the, the Vesica Pisces right now, Pisces, with Saturn Aquarius. And they birthed Chiron right in the beginning, and they want to bring Chiron back up. Regardless of chronology, Chiron was adopted by Apollo. So in that, that time, the beginning of the wheel, Zeus took over Chiron. He taught Chiron. Uh, he gave him the wisdom, the guru, the expansion. He gave him all the knowledge to pass through the ages of the wheel. And they want to crown him again. But it's over. We're going back to the Twin Peaks. So... Medicine, prophecy, astrology, botany, pharmacy, and the science of herbs and medicine. His mastery of these skills talks to an overcompensation for his early life rejection. We've all been there. He was looking for, to the healing arts in order to heal himself. 
Now let's move to his death, where the wounded healer archetype becomes even more apparent. As the son of Kronos, Chiron was born immortal. However, he exchanged his immortality for Prometheus, life. So this is what's happening now. They want to offer us Never Everland, PP, Peter Pan. Uh, they're going to give us immortality, which is exactly why they're covering our mouths like the little mermaid. They want to trade our spirit for flesh, the legs. So they're going to give us this before we all open our third eye and become natural healers. So there's a whole fake medicine. There's, you know, everyone's going to wake up, but it's artificial popping of our eye before the time. This should be in 2027 if we finish the correct cycle of Chiron. So um, that's another. Uh, so Chiron become, became mortal in a very less bargain with the Godhead and his half brother Zeus. Then moving forward in time and in an altercation, Chiron was pierced by Hercules' arrow, arrow, which has been treated with poison, the blood of Hydra. The wound was deep and deadly. Although Chiron had mastered the healing art, he could not heal himself. Zeus took pity on his mortality and placed him amongst the stars for eternity as the constellation Centuri. Okay, I'm not sure it's in these pictures here, but um, I show you. This is a very good video. Uh, I you to Metaphysical Flood and the River Nile. It's here. Uh, this is by... I, you, Tom. Um, I'll put this in the links afterwards. Very good little videos. So, coming back to this, the pictures. So, this is what they've done. This is the bully. This is Eris. This is San Saturna. So, Saturn, the name of my road, that's killed by the bull. The bull is going to take over this passage of Pisces into Aquarius. The bull gods. Get ready for Eris. This is the rising of Lucifer. Libra riding the bull. Alpha Omega. So Baal. Note Baal. You see this. It's Lucifer. Here's Libra. Here's Pan. Here's the NHS, the three swords. That This last sword is in my village, Berids. It's the last leg. It's the Pisces door. So here is the Cairo. In the Babylonian tongue, the word for heart was Baal, Baal, strong, a symbol of Nimrod. So Nimrod is the Persian, it's the same as the Persian god. This is Sirius. So Sirius is opposite Altair. Cupid's Cupid and Valentine, that's why Lupercalia, this is why Victoria is having clamp down, because Victoria was the age, the Victorian age of the picnic at Hanging Rock, I've explained. So just as Cupid has a bow and arrow, so Sagittarius, and we've got right now pulling back that bow of fire in Sagittarius, and at the same time Mars is about to go retrograde to pull back that water ice bow uh, because Chiron is now in Pisces so he's pulling back Mars and they want to take over the true Twin Peaks so uh, Roman name meaning mighty valence in Latin February the 14th was a day of unbridled sexual lust indicated by the heart-shaped female posterior the mother of a male child was purified 40 days. That's the retrograde of Venus after giving birth. So 40 days, it's, this is the 40 days and 40 nights. It's the journey of Venus as she does her five-petaled flower of life, the heart frequency where my village is, Enyon. So um, you get this. This is Baal. This is Baal. This is the bull god taking over. This is... Um, this is Libra taking over from Taurus as the bull gods. So here's this. So the four musketeers 
are the four. This is the last sword in the stone. This is the last um, angle that they are trying to crucify us in the mutable V for victory gap. So that house fell down, 23 DNA strands. It was a bang. It's not for nothing that there is the bull in front of Wall Street. My son Satyana again. Is that 111666? Is the 216? Is the three degrees the sun moves to make this process? So they're trying to crucify us in the middle, on the flesh, on the 666, before we can move through their specica pieces and make it into the kingdom. How many people will sell their soul before the time? It's the Venus orbit. This is the true Saturn, Twin Peaks, Aquarius and Capricorn, the true ring. Uh, this is Amy Winehouse with the bull god, dog, Sirius. The whore of Babylon comes from Babylon to take over Taurus. The green man the labyrinth, the French one, and this is what we have for 322. Mars will be for that Passover uh, on the equinox. So Sorry, I'm trying to keep my thoughts together. So it was a very big day on the 11th of August because we had that uh, Babylon opposition to Aquarius where they want to crucify us and this is the rising of the bull, the 322 passage when Mars will become on that back onto the Taurus in 2021. Um, so how the bully. So here we have the fixed signs, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus and Aquarius. And this is the gap that they want to fix fix us on. They put the PP in to have the Alpha Omega and to fix us on this tilt that doesn't exist. And here she is coming back, the rising to keeping Europe. Uh, this is Eris Europa. Um, and this is Saint Martin de Tours. Just Uda, uh, this is taking over from the female aspect, bringing in the stag, killing the deer and bringing in the stag, masculine, just as the bull is the masculine of the cow. This is Saint Martin de Tours. Uh, so this is the taking over of Saint Saturna. That's the white bull. She fell for the she fell for the white bull and so this taking from Babylon to uh, Taurus and Taurus takes over and this is that Liberty Pole, this is the decap, they kill Capella, Cap that's, that's the, at the tip of the Milky Way and they make it into the bull, uh, they make it into the Maypole. And this is the flag of my village. This is the tabernacle. This is the killing of the lamb. Thalamus, the true Aquarius third eye. They kill us before we get through. Well, you know, this is what they want to do. But, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be fine. So these are the four musketeers which represent that gap. There she is crossing over the sea. It's the saltis crossing. And there's the bull god, Nimrod, Minos. And there you've got, uh, this is the axis. So they, Gemini, they stuck stickers on Gemini, the, the twins, Cain and Abel, um, Sirius opposite Altair. Um, Right, this is the house, so I didn't get the pictures when the whole road was blocked. But this, there's no reason, I mean, nobody touches any of the houses. The number 23 for the 23rd of August ritual, it came down and they've got the 
um, arrow going straight through the heart. So uh, don't worry, all of the people that live here, we've got this covered. We've all come back from past lives. So this is the mythology again of the bull. Um, and you see it's about the Nile. It's about the Nile, which represents our spine, which represents the Milky Way coming back. So um, mythology abounds with motives about bulls of one sort or another. For about 2,000 years, the bull, the symbol of Taurus, was one of the main relig religion symbols for the Taurian age, which occurred roughly between 4,000 and 2,000 BC. In pagan religion of this time, the bull and the cow were symbols of the fertility of the earth. For this epoch coincided with the emergence of the great agricultural civilizations of the Tigris and Euphrates and the Nile. So um, this is Amit. This is why we've got the hippopotamus, uh, the first splitting. Then we've got the lion and then we've got the uh, crocodile. So we're coming up to Croco. That's why the chateau in Lupercalia here is called Lacoste. Lacoste is the crocodile where I do the cleaning with a load of other women and we clean all those energies. Of all these motives, one of the best known and the most apt for Taurus is the myth of Theseus and Minotaur. It is a complicated myth with many facets, but it helps to illustrate both the main difficulties and the main challenges of the deeper journey of the sign. Minos was the king of Crete and had a herd of exceptional bulls which were dedicated to the god Poseidon. That's where we're leaving now. Um, Jupiter Pisces. He made a deal with the gods. So you've got Zeus, Sagittarius, Poseidon, um, Pisces. He made a deal with the god and promised him a particularly beautiful white bull in offering if Poseidon could give him mastery over the seas. The god agreed to the deal and Crete flourished. So this was the first taking over of uh, the Gap Gemini. So the navigator, the seas, and uh, bounding Pisces, where we are now. So Mars is about to go retrograde as Jupiter finishes his retrograde in Sagittarius. Minos, however, was covetous and greedy, a characteristic of Taurian problem. And when the time came to sacrifice the bull, he decided to cheat the god and keep it for himself. So they're keeping, the bull is keeping this age of the Pisces, offering a lesser specimen in its place. The god in revenge asked Aphrodite, Venus, Libra, goddess of love, for aid in a plan for retaliation. Aphrodite afflicted, afflicted Minos' wife, Queen Pasipaia, with an uncontrollable lust for the white bull. So this is again like we saw Cupid sucking the breast of Venus. So this is Valentine and Cupids. They turn, they take the Venus feminine cow and turn her into Libra um, Valentine. Afflicted Minus's wife, Queen Pasipaia, with an uncontrollable lust for the white bull. Uncontrollable lust is another virtue ranking high on Taurus's list. Paspire, unable to suppress her desires, enlisted the aid of Diodulos, the palace master craftsman, to make her a wooden bull in which she disguised herself. So this is like <clears throat> Helen of Troy, Paris, Eris, the liberator. So she could mate with the white bull. The offspring of this union was the Minotaur. So this is the same story uh, of the, this is the half bull, half so this is how Pisces axis gets taken over as the Sagittarius axis was taken over by the Senator. The offspring of this union was a minotaur, a dreadful beast with the body of a man and the head of a bull, which fed on human flesh. <clears throat> now the minotaur in our story is a symbol of Taurus run amok with human body and bull's head. His humanity is completely overshadowed by his rampant desires. The Minotaur, being a mark of Minos, shame, was enclosed in a labyrinth which was so complex. Yeah, but it's too long to read here. 
but um, this is the this is the story. This is what's going on right now. Okay, so we've read uh, that. Oh, you have to come and watch these visit videos of I U Tom. Uh, he does three minute videos. This flood explains the Nile and what was going on in 2020, the closing of the Milky Way. Um, and this is my way. Oh, I'm going to show you this because this is my work here in Enyor. This represents in Narnia, the world between worlds, the woods, and the magician's nephew. So I film myself doing this, but I only realize afterwards what I'm doing. This is like the pool between two worlds, the bullseye, the labyrinth, the dart of Aignan d'Artagnan in the heart. So for some reason, and I let you watch because this is taking us through the, the true uh, vesica pieces we're going through. I go like the bullseye. I don't know what I'm doing when I do this. I work it out afterwards. So then we've got, I think I count five strokes. So I shut the image before I come out naked. So what one, two, three, four, five, and there is the same V, this is the V, the last V opening, and you see it looks like the butterfly, um, so this is breaking the spell, this is what I do unconsciously, and if you remember the stories, um, I think I posted here, the story of the worlds within worlds of Narnia. So I've told you before, I have the vortex on my lands and I've got two Mr. Greens. So there's the Chateau of Puy Dagen, the well of the dragon on one side where Kate and William came for the year 2016 because we had the big eclipse in Taurus on the Hierophant, on the Magician's Wand uh, of Taurus, because it's going to be the new uh, feet of the Saltis, and the Heart Gateway is here in this village. So uh, where did I put... Where did I put... Uh, I know. I know where I put it. This video is going to be just so confusing. It's here. This is a picture of the pool in the middle and I show the wood, the wood beyond the world. That's a book that talks about the same thing. Um, but the heart is the gateway through to the two worlds. They're going to give us <coughs> Peter Pan land when Neptune enters for 15 years. It's going to be like the prick, the vaccine in Sleeping Beauty where everyone falls asleep and we have a kind of utopia uh, world. So this is, can you go away? What's that? Go away. So, um, these are the two rings. The, oh. Yeah, they, they do this, don't they? So, the wood between the worlds was the name given to a mysterious realm of portals that allowed magical travel between the worlds of Cham, Earth, and Narnia, among numerous others. It had the form of a quiet forest dotted with many wide pools of supposed water, just like in my forest. There's a tale of a... Uh, this is the forest of the Black Prince. Um, so, Charles. This is why we've got now in Pisces... Uh, from World War II, Charles de Gaulle and Prince Charles of Wales. Gaulle and Wales is Setus, Levathion. It had the form of a quiet forest dotted with many white pools, supposed water, each of which served as a portal to a different world. 
It was used by Diggory Kirk and Polly Plummer to visit the dying world of Cham to transport Queen Jadis from Chan to Earth. So, and then take her along with Frank, Strawberry, and Earth. In order to use the portals, a person must be touching one of the magical rings. So these are the two, the rings are two types. Yellow rings transport a person from one world to the, to the wood. If a person on Earth touches a yellow ring, for example, they will disappear and appear in the pool that leads to Earth in the wood. The green rings transport a person out of the wood to a world. If a person in the wood wants to go to Cham, for example, they step into the pool that leads to Cham while touching a green ring and then materializes there. What determines the location in that world where the traveller appears is not clear. So anyway, um, obviously this is all tricked. Um, this is the Narnia, but there's always the truth within. So they're trying to do their two rings from Sagittarius to Pisces when it's the one ring of Saturn coming back to the middle. And that's why there's this ritual with a hole going straight through this house, the whole of our road blocked, the dam to be damned, to damn the, our, our, our soul, our heart, Notre Dame, our soul. Okay. So to round up, basically what I'm saying is the PP becomes RR to fix us on the masculine axis. So the Milky Way opened up with the falling of Chiron, the son of Kronos, and we're finishing with the Jupiter, Pluto, and, uh, and Saturn doing their last retrogrades. And they're going to go towards, with, so that's the fire, arrow, and then we've got the arrow, we've got Pisces, and we've got Mars about to go retrograde in Pisces, and it will, it's touched Eris, the Liberator, it's going to touch Chiron, Chiron's now moved, it's closing the wheel, and Chiron is back, as I've showed you in this chart. So this is the 3rd of January, but we've got coming up the elections, 3rd of November. So 3rd of November, we're going to have this, uh, this absolute gap of the south and the north node, the head and the tail of the snake. So it's just hit Taurus. And Scorpio, and we've still got the big boys uh, finishing before the great conjunction in the Sagittarius uh, Pisces axis here. And we've got Uranus in the Alpha Omega. We'll have, my goodness, this is it. We're going to have the sun in Libra for the election. So this is, this is. You've got to bear with me because this is, you see, they're fixing us in that, in the gap. This is, um, my brain is just trying to keep up with this. So, not what I wanted to say, but this is, you see, we, we're going to go through this Vesica pieces. This is, they're premeditating um, the axis. So, yeah, you see, this is the Jolly Green Giant. Um, this is the Senator. He represents the spring because he's, they're taking the Osiris, um, is this Osiris axis of, Taurus Scorpio here and they're crucifying us before we come into it just as the north node is at this is at this gap here oh yeah I wanted to show you um I wanted to show you the again the Chiron well here's the Chiron Cairo the Cairo 
with the alpha omega. So for the elections, we're going to have the alpha omega axis, Uranus opposite the sun, alpha omega, and we're going to have the Pisces, um, and we're going to have the Pisces Sagittarius. So the Pisces Sagittarius, the Pisces Sagittarius, we've got Chiron, uh, and we've got in Sagittarius, in Sagittarius, we've got this last before they, so this is the true Twin Peaks, and we've got Chiron that is going to be exact, and we've got Mars, this is the 3rd of January, so Mars has already done, it's now moving forward, but at the moment now, it's doing this hit between Eris and Chiron, between Eris and Chiron, and then Uranus will move forward, brings me back to the beginning of the video, um, here's Eris, here's Uranus, so let's just watch this, Uranus moving forward again, so if we come back to now, okay, so now we've got Eris and we've got Uranus here, so let's just watch, Uranus goes back, then on the 1-3, Uranus and Mars meet on top of Eris. And then Uranus starts going forward. Uranus. I covered this in my last video, so we're not going to um, come back to now. So this is the 9-3. By the way, so we've got Mars right on top of Eris. Mars is going to go backwards. It's going to hit Chiron. Uh, Chiron is here as well on the messenger. It's going to hit Chiron and then move forward to Eris. So Chiron, this is this is the rising of Lucifer. And then Mars will come into Aries. And then we have, so we've got the six nine nine so the nine six we've got moon mars on top of eris and then nine nine mars goes backwards goes backwards it hits chiron it comes forward again um it comes forward so just before the elections we go to um, so for the third for the elections we're going to have the moon right on Aldebaran. We're going to have the north and south node back in Taurus Gemini, and we've got Mars Mars about to go forward again on the fifteenth goes back forward, I have another conjunction there, and then it will come back to Eris and join Uranus. When it joins Uranus on the 1-3, so the 13, this is the rising of the 13th sign, the rising of the 13th sign, and Venus will be on that 13th sign um, taking over as the masculine when it should be the Scorpio. So as the Milky Way and to keep us trapped in this gap with, as we see, uh, Europa on the bull with the Phoenix. I showed you in those pictures. I showed you in these pictures. Yeah, you're going to have to put this story together yourself, but I had to get these thoughts out uh, because otherwise I carry them around with me. And did I just add the pictures here? Yeah, where is that picture? Where is that picture? There. There. 
Venus. So Venus will be right under Altair. What date is it going to be for the famous 322? Three, three, two, two? 131, we've got a 31 again, so the one third Venus is going to be right under Altair, and that is in my last video. This is when um, we've got Mercury will begin going. Let's see when Mercury starts going backwards. It's the same day Mercury goes backwards. 131, my god. And then we've got everybody in Capricorn. And we're fully in Capricorn. And then on the 322, Mars in Aldebaran. So here's Mars on Aldebaran. We'll have here... Venus and the Sun conjunct. Mercury will be on former halt. So, you know, I'm showing you the traps, but those of us in the heart, we're just flowing through. No problem. Okay. So... Coming back, let's finish with Lars. So this this trap is all taking place. It's taking place for the elections. The elections. This is the third of January and the elections here. Yeah. 3rd of November, we've got the Alpha Omega, and we've got the PP, we've got Mars uh, retrograde in Pisces, and we've got um, these guys now stationary in Sagittarius, but we've got the North-South node, North-South node just entered Scorpio and Taurus, they're right now actually on this passage, but we're going to have the Alpha Omega. We're going to have the Alpha Omega. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll post this video because it's so confusing, but um, I just had to get this out. Okay, I love you, my darlings. Bye.